Hello and welcome to today's session. I am Avantika Saroha and I work as a software engineer with Gather. During the session, feel free to submit your queries in chat and we'll address them towards the end of the session in our Q&A section. In today's session, we will be talking about new and very exciting addition to Gather and that is our AI Assistant. Gather provides an intuitive and visual interface to design ETL pipelines. To build these pipelines and transform data, you can leverage a variety of pre-built operators. There are quite a few operators in Gather where you can write expressions, SQLs, code snippets, etc. to implement custom and complex business transformations. The AI Assistant will simplify the way you implement these data transformations in Gather. Let's see how Assistant can help you. You can explain your transformation needs in plain English to the Assistant. And as the assistant is context aware, which means that it knows which operator you are using, it will generate expression, SQL or code snippet to achieve the transformation. It will also provide a brief explanation of how the generated code snippet will work. You can copy the generated code snippet or directly use it in the operator. Apart from generating code snippets, assistant can help you in addressing the queries on how to use an operator. For example, if we ask him, how can I convert an array column to multiple rows? It will provide us the function that can be used for it, along with the explanation supporting the same. It can help you in fixing errors. So now next to errors, you will see a button, ask assistant to fix, that will suggest a way to fix the errors. With that, let's see the assistant in action. Let me start with creating a new pipeline. We can choose any source. For today, I am choosing file data source to upload a file from my desktop. Gather automatically detects the schema of the file. And now the sample data from the file is available in this profile pane. Let's have a look at few columns. Serial number that is depicting the serial number of the player. Player column showing us the name of the player along with their country. Span it has the start year and end year of the player's career. Matches column are the total matches played by the player. And similarly, we have various columns with us. Say I want to enrich my data stream with some new columns. I will be using expression evaluator for the same. Now, instead of writing the expression, you can get help from the assistant. All you need to do is elaborate enrichment requirement in plain English and hit generate like this. Get start year from span and generate. The assistant will provide you with the expression that will get the start year from the span followed by the explanation of the generated expression. You can simply use it in the operator. You can also validate it. It is a valid expression. Now, let me try and introduce some error and omit this P from the function and try and validate. Now we can see that we got the error message. Now we'll ask the assistant to fix this error. We got the correct expression from the assistant. We can simply copy it and use it in the operator. After validating it, we can see that we got the valid expression. So this is how we can rectify the errors. Let's try another, continuing with the same example. Let's get end year from span. So it generates the expression and the explanation using this expression. Now let's try one more to get the country. Get country from player by extracting anything between brackets. Now 
So we have the expression and the explanation. Let's use it. Similarly, you can generate many such expressions. You can also ask questions from it like how can I convert an array column to multiple rows? The assistant will provide the function that can help you achieve the task along with the explanation. Clicking on next. Here is the new schema with the enriched columns. Looking at the columns, it appears that the transformations are working correctly. And now we have three new columns that it start year, end year, and country that have appeared in the profile pane. Similar to enrichment, what if we want to filter some records? We can use expression filter for the same. Let's see how we can generate filter expressions with the help of assistant. Let's ask it to keep all players who started before 2010. It generates the expression. What if we want to change the requirement? Make it 2011. You will notice that it remembers that we are still talking about the start year. Let's try it one more time. Negate it. It changes the expression to meet the new requirement while being aware of the context of the conversation. Let's use this expression. Clicking on next. We will finally have all the players whose start year is either 2011 or greater than that. So these were the expression, but how can we generate SQL queries? Let's pull SQL operator to understand that. Say we want to get player name and runs for the player with maximum runs. So here we've got the query along with the explanation. Let's use it. Here is the query. So in the output, we can see that we got the desired result. Now let's take a look at how we can generate a Python code using the AI assistant. Let me pull the Python operator for the same. Say we want to get top five players name and runs and also rank them as per their runs. Generate. Here we can see that we got the Python code along with the explanation. Using the code, expanding it, we can see that we got the Python code that is selecting the player and runs columns, ordering the data frame by runs in descending order, adding a rank column based on runs, and filtering the data frame to keep all the top five players. So we'll go to next next until done here we can see in the output in the data pane that we got the top five player names and runs ranked in descending order of their runs so this brings us to the end of the demonstration to sum it up assistant can help generating code snippets expressions sqls getting responses to questions fixing errors we are excited to see how you guys will use the assistant to solve your business problems. Now let's take some questions. I see one question here. 
apart from AI assistant, how else Gen AI is integrated in Gather? So answering to this, first way is enriching user interaction in Gather. For instance, we are working on providing natural language search on data assets. So you will be able to search for all data sales assets where quality is greater than 90% or data assets which were updated one hour ago. Another is we are providing operators to create use cases on Gen AI. We have provided OpenAI, Azure OpenAI operators, Embedding and Pinecone operators so that you can integrate Gen AI in your ETL pipelines. I hope this answers your question. Let's take another one. What's next for the AI assistant? Good to see that you are equally excited as us. There are a lot of things actually, enabling users to be able to build complete ETL pipelines with natural language inputs. So that's all the time we had for today. I hope you find this session useful. Thank you.